I will say something that's really unique about the game is top-down, fast-paced parkour shooter. And so imagine something like a first-person shooter combined with a top-down shooter, isometric shooter, combined with a parkour skateboarding kind of game. So when you combine all of those things together, you're gonna get a game that is easy to control, but you'll be amazed at what kind of cool moves and cool combat you'll be pulling off. Because our game is actually highly accessible to players of all skill levels. The reason why I chose Unity was very obvious. Because first of all, the game community is the best friendliest community in any industry. Now, when you talk about friendly gaming community, especially indie studios, that's where you go if you're if you're a starting or mid-sized indie indie studio because when you're a small um, gaming studio, you need resources. You need you need tutorials, you need assets you can buy. I mean, that's basically unity. So we got into URP because it was just fast. There was all these built-in techniques where we can put in a ton of different graphics features. And it's gonna be still running perfectly on mobile devices, console, especially some console, doesn't, that's not the highest end. Yeah, it works for those two. And of course for PC, that's a given. We're able to do a lot of customization with URP. Uh, we use a lot of different modules that came standard with Unity have a bunch of different added modules as well. So it's very flexible and high performance and it looks great. So it was a no brainer. We specifically chose URP because it was extremely scalable to all platforms. There was a bit of work in terms of like certification that we have to do for each platform. But aside from that, if you talk about performance, if you talk about compatibility, as long as you have your shaders lined up and prepped for all the different platforms, it was super easy for us. We're developing Dev Carnival for all platforms. We're developing for PC first, Windows, Mac, Linux, and we're also going to be bringing it to console. So all the different console and also mobile devices. Using VFX Graph was great for us because it was almost like a, a movie studio in, in, in a package. You're able to do all these certain things. You're able to do uh, all, all these flow maps, all, all these uh, vector data, and you combine them to create all these mini movie sets and way more than you can do with shaders alone. But if you combine that VFX graph with cool shaders, you can do quite a bit. We're really proud of the special shaders that we've developed. Because some of the shaders that we developed are low VRAM requirements, runs amazingly on any kind of hardware, and they look fantastic. Because when you talk about indie development, you don't have the resources to create all these Hollywood type flashy effects. And you have to do a lot of things that's maybe perhaps more procedural. And, and the best thing is, when you talk about procedural type of shaders, type of effects, you can create amazing effects that runs on low end hardware, uh, low VR, VRAM requirements, fast production speed, and it's only limited by your imagination. The way we built the game, we put in all these difficulty tiers that they can play, from casual all the way to pro tier, esports player kind of player. But the way we've designed it is we, we coach people along the way. We empower people 